There's a lot going on with AI and photography right now. And I think it's the most interesting when that AI is only enhancing the photos that you already took. Luminar Neo has some really interesting ways that they're using machine learning and their algorithms to make your photos look better without needing to know much about actual image editing. And this video is sponsored by Luminar Neo, so it's not gonna be a review. I just wanna showcase some of their brand new features. And let's start with the most exciting one because I just love the way that this works. I've added a bunch of photos to my catalog that I shot in the past year from a bunch of different locations. And actually, I'll just show you the first cool new feature. There's a new detailed view where you can see a lot more information about each photo, but that's not the most exciting part. They have this new feature called color transfer. And there's a bunch of photos that I took as digital photos and also similar film photos that match really well. So it's kind of a perfect test. Can I transfer these filmic looking colors that I shot mostly on point and shoot cameras with Kodak Gold? And can I transfer those tones and colors over to my digital images without putting a lot of effort into it? Let's see how it does here. Let's start off with a simple example. This is just a hotel in Portugal. I'm gonna go to edit. Let's scroll down and go to color transfer. Now I've already added a bunch of my film photos here. You can just click plus to add more references if you want but I've got the perfect reference of that same house shot on film. Let's see what happens. And just like that, I got something very filmic looking. There are some more adjustments I can make, like I can turn up the amount so it's a little punchier and change the amount that it's blending between the luminosity and the color intensity. Those both have their own sliders and this transition and color smoothing definitely help to dial in that feel. But to finish it off, let's also add I find a little bit of glow is sort of some of the softness that film would usually have, similar to adding like a mist filter. And then of course, some film grain. I'm gonna zoom in to check, crank it up quite a bit. And our AI generated film emulation. I think it looks pretty great. Let's try another one. Here is New York in the fall. I'm gonna go to edit, color transfer. Got the perfect reference right here. And there we go. Wow, that looks very much like film. Same thing, I'm gonna add a little bit of mist, a little bit of grain. And there's our original and our film emulation. Now, this is a really fun way to play with it, but of course we don't usually have a film photo reference for the color. So it does work with any similar images. Let's try another one. So here's Anya in the streets of Seville. We're gonna to go to color transfer and I'm just gonna choose something that has similar colors. Like I like this blue sky here, these old buildings and just like that, look, we got a pretty good film look. And it is doing things to the color that I sort of can't put my finger on that like feel like film, but I wouldn't have done this if I was just moving sliders around. Or you could also do this to emulate inspiration. So like a movie you like, or I'm gonna use one of my favorite photographers, clear those settings. I'm gonna add a reference shot by my friend Simbrush, kind of a similar setting. And look what I get in just one click. And I'm having fun, let me just show you a few more. The original, and here's the color transfer. Like what blows me away on this one is sort of this uh, vignetting in the corners. Like it's doing something to bring in the fact that the corners also went a bit cyan. Like it's not only the overall tones or something to like the shape of the image. It's, it's really cool. Like if you just flip between them, they really like sit nicely together. Like these feel like they're in the same universe. Okay, but Luminar Neo does have a bunch of new features in this fall update that we should look at that are less insane. I'll save one of the uh, crazy AI ones for the end, but let's look at some of the catalog updates because they're actually really important. We have a star rating system. So as we move through the photos, we can just decide like one star, three star, four star, five star, and then sort by those stars later on. But there's other things we can sort by. So up here in the top left, I can go to all photos and not only change to just seeing certain ratings, but I really like the way that they did like this camera breakdown. I can see all the cameras that are in my catalog and I can just sort them to see that selection, which is super helpful. I, I don't even have to create a big mess of different metadata. I can see everything shot at, you know, a fast aperture, everything at 1.7, let's say. They've also modified this EXIF panel in the top right, so you can see more data about what you've shot and lots of other little essentials that are just really nice to have for managing a catalog. You can also manage folders and albums over here. So you can see I've created a few albums for different events and shoots and things like that. But let's say that I'm in all photos and I'm trying to find all the cat photos because I didn't create the album yet. It has a new ML based search. So if I just search for cats, it understands the photos that have cats and our brand new kitten in them. And I could just select all of those and add them to the cats folder. But this works for a lot of things. I can just hit control F and say search for flowers. Oh, and I've got another color transfer here. Let's try it, I can't get enough of this, okay. All right, and there it is, turn on our grain. We've got another faux film image, but there's another great catalog feature here. So let's go into edit, let's uh, do a color transfer, because why not? 
Okay, there, we got a pretty nice looking image. But let's say I'm not sure, I still wanna experiment a little bit more. What I could do is I can right click and create a virtual copy. So this is not duplicating the original file, it's just giving us another reference here in the catalog. Then we could go in and clear away all of those edits. We could just do something totally different. Like let's say we're gonna have a slightly more traditional approach. Uh, maybe we even use a preset. You get something totally different with just one click. Turn it down a little. And now thanks to our virtual copy, we can hold on to two totally different versions and decide later which one is best for us. But there's a lot of other little detailed improvements they made in the catalog, like you can sort the albums by photo count or while you're editing, there's the film strip at the bottom here. Lots of little quality of life things. Okay, but let's go back to one more really cool AI thing. So if you've got photos that you've shot at twilight, you may have noticed they're often difficult to really bring that same richness into the photo that you saw in real life. In fact, a lot of presets will drain color out of like the, the clouds and the sky, especially if you had something like a beautiful sunset. So this new feature called Twilight Enhancer does a lot and I don't have to do very much to show you. Look, I'll just start turning it up and just right away it starts adding the texture and color you want to the sky and has a separate exposure slider here so you can sort of balance between the two. In fact, you can balance even more, like you can actually just decide what the sky is doing. You could set completely different presets depending on the tone that you're going for. Let's try it on another photo here. You can definitely tell that it's twilight in here, and this is a JPEG by the way, but just turning up that slide, like look at how much more it looks like twilight. Like this is exactly how it looked in real life and just with some small adjustments, like I don't need to crank it up, I just slightly boost it and I'm so much closer to the way this felt when it was happening. And I like that it's not even adding anything fake to the image, it's just playing with the tones in a realistic way. Here's emerald, just another way of setting the tones, or golden, it's a little more extreme, but again, if you just turn it down a bit, I find backing it off even a little bit gets you something very natural that sits well within the image. Here's another one I think does a really good job, like it just doesn't feel like much is happening, you know, like I'm only doing it like 24%, but the difference is huge. This is what it looked like. I love this slider. Or here's a good example. Like this is taken on a good camera. You can tell the sky is doing nice things, but it doesn't, it's not that exciting. Like you texted this to your friends and be like, check out the sunset. They, they wouldn't get it. But now I can basically just turn it up into the sunset I was seeing. Like this is such an amazing improvement. So that's what's new in the Luminar Neo Big Fall Update. Hope you found something useful in it. Let me know in the comments which feature you're most excited about. I'll see you guys in the next video.